Hey everyone, so a lot of you reached out to me letting me know that you guys had trouble with your PS4 when it tried to update to the latest update, either 7.00 or 7.02. This update caused a lot of problems for PS4 users. Now most of you are going to get this error here, which says cannot start the PS4, connect the DualShock 4 using the USB cable, and then press the PS button. Or you're going to get stuck in a safe mode loop, as you see here, with a message stating, connect a USB storage device that contains an update file for reinstallation for version 7.0 or 7.02. It really doesn't matter what version because today I'm gonna to show you an easy way for you to fix your PS4 without losing your data. And that's the important part here. A lot of you have reached out and told me you don't want to follow one of the other instructional videos I provided where you pretty much reinitialize your PS4 and it wipes all your data off your PS4 hard drive and you lose some stuff such as save games for single player games and so on. So this fix today is an easy fix that will not delete anything on your PS4 hard drive so it's safe for you to do. And also some of you may have a working PlayStation 4 however you're getting this error when it's trying to update to the latest 7.00 or 7.02 and as you're gonna see right now it's gonna give you an error message such as this. So it's gonna tell you SU-424-81-9. And the fix I'm gonna show you is gonna work for this as well. All right, before we get started with the fix, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your PS4 is fully shut down. Not in rest mode, but fully power off the PS4. Otherwise, this will not work. All right, so the first thing we're gonna to have to do is put your PS4 into safe mode. In order to do that, you're gonna hold down the PS4 power button until you hear two beeps. So let's go ahead and do that now. It's the first beep. Keep holding it. And then you hear the second beep, you can go ahead and let go. All right, so this is gonna bring you to the safe mode screen and it wants you to connect your PS4 controller with the USB cable. So here's my PS4 controller. And this is really important. Make sure you use the original USB cable that came with your PS4. Otherwise, it may not work. All right, so if you're on this screen here and you press the PS button on your PS4 controller and nothing happens, that means that you're probably not using the original USB cable that came with your PS4. But don't worry, that's not a problem. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description down below where you can get an official replacement USB cable for your PS4 controller for under 10 bucks. So go ahead and look down in the description for that if you're having this issue. All right, so I connected my controller to the PS4 with the USB cable and I went ahead and pressed the PS button. All right, once you press the PS button, you're gonna be giving several options right here. The one you're gonna wanna select is option number three, which is update system software. So go ahead and go down to option three using the D-pad here, and then go ahead and press the X button. Next, you're provided with three different options. The first one is update from USB storage device. The second one is update from disk, but the one we're gonna wanna select is option number three, which is update using internet. So go ahead and go down to option three and then hit that X button. All right, and then you're gonna see this message here which says the following version of the system software is available, version 7.02. And as of the recording of this video, that is the latest version. So we're gonna go ahead and click next to install the latest version of the PS4 system software on our PS4. So go ahead and click X now. So as you can see here, it's downloading the update file. It's about 470 megabytes. That size may differ depending on the update file. My internet's pretty fast, so it's downloading in probably under a minute or so. So you see right here. All right, as we see here, the update is almost downloaded completely and we're gonna see the next step. All right, so in this next step, it tells you that the system software of the PS4 will be updated. So once you hit the X button on your controller, it's gonna go ahead and restart the PS4 and install the update. So let's go ahead and click the X button now. As you can see here, your PS4 will restart and it will start the process of installing the PS4 update. As we see here, the PS4 has restarted and we see that the system software update is currently installing. We see the progress bar and it should take a few minutes to install this update. All right, the update is almost done installing and then it's gonna to go to the next step. Your PS4 will restart. Once your PS4 is restarted, you should see the PlayStation symbol right here. All right, so your system should come up normally just like this. 